So this thing that I'm about to show you is absolutely vital uh, for any business to have in place, especially if you're a service client business, uh, whereby you're booking clients into meetings and things like that. Um, this, what I'm about to show you in a second, and I'm gonna get a screen share up in a moment, uh, but what I'm about to show you has saved me absolutely countless hours um, of time and stress and energy and things like that. Uh, I'd imagine a lot of you may well already have the thing that I'm about to show you in place um, already, but if you don't, then this is gonna um, massively revolutionize um, how you deliver your product or service to your clients. Uh, what I'm actually talking about is um, some kind of automated diary booking or diary management tool. Um, there's quite a few different ones out there. The one which I use is Acuity Scheduling and I'm about to, um, I'll hop onto a screen share in a second and show you around kind of some of the inner workings of how I organise my diary booking. A uh, couple of other ones that you can use, um, I think there's also Calendly, Schedule Once, they're probably the two other most popular ones. Um, Google and um, Microsoft Outlook and Office 365 also have their own versions as well. Uh, but I'm a big fan of um, Acuity, heard good things about Schedule Once and Calendly. So those are kind of really the three key options. You may well have, um, or if you go out and look for them, you'll find other diary booking options. But one of the reasons why um, I find that diary booking is um, so, so important is to avoid this kind of uh, diary ping pong which you get. So somebody says, hey, should we meet up for a coffee or I'd love to have a consultation with you and you send them across some dates and they say, oh no, I can't do any of those, I'm away. Or, and, th and then you get this back and forth. And not only that, but then once you've actually managed to lock down a specific date and time in a diary and the day and time comes round and uh, you check your diary and you go, oh goodness, uh, when was I supposed to be meeting, meeting Dave? So this whole process of actually getting it like automatically into here so that it pops up with reminders and tells you when you should be going to appointments and things like that. Um, and also just not missing, not missing appointments, not for you, but for your clients as well. So um, with Acuity, you get things like, um, it sends out um, email reminders automatically, uh, it can send out SMS reminders so that your clients never miss their meetings with you as well, um, which is super important. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip across into um, screencast mode and put a little version of myself up here so you can kind of see me whilst I'm talking. I'm going to be talking over there because the screen's there. Um, so this is this is just a basic version of my site as it's set up at the moment. Um, and um, when somebody clicks on the, the book a call, so one of the first things which they get is this um, neat little form just here where they can select their diagnostic call. You can actually put different appointment types in and I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, people can see my availability. They can click on next Tuesday at whatever time kind of suits them. Um, pop their information in. Now I've got, I've got an application form which I'm going to um, be speaking about uh, possibly... A bit later on. Oh, I'll talk about it now actually. Uh, so if you're in a service-based business and um, you want to ensure that you're getting good quality um, appointments booking in your diary, um, it's really worthwhile having an application form. I'll show you how you set that up in Acuity in a second as well. But I asked some very um, pointy questions about what people's offer is, how much they're currently earning, what their um, monthly target revenue is. Um, what um, they feel that the biggest obstacle is for hitting that goal and a few other pointy questions and then they click complete appointment. Now what I'm actually going to do is um, go through and uh, book an actual appointment and then you can kind of see what happens really. So if I hit 11.30 continue, wrong way, blah blah blah. Now unfortunately all of these, are, these need to be filled out, these questions, so um, we'll just put in some There we go, complete appointment. So great, so now that's already been confirmed. So straight away, your client can then click on add to iCal or Outlook or add to Google. Um, the other cool thing that's gonna happen is straight away in here, um, uh, first and foremost, I get a confirmation email um, which is sent out through Acuity. And again, I'll show you. So. Uh, so yes, yeah, so here we go. So I just get a copy of it. This is what the client sees. Hey Robin, just wanted to let you know we've received your application. Here's a couple of pre-call um, bits of homework that I want you to do. Uh, down here, here's confirmation of the, the appointment. There's a, um, a link to cancel or change the appointment, add it to iCal. You've also got the iCal thing here. And actually, if I go into my diary for next Tuesday now, you can see here, 
um, that obviously this is confidential, of course, but you can see here it's added in this diary entry that I just put for 11.30 on Tuesday, which is pretty cool. Um, so, uh, let's see, where are we at now? So, um, so that's cool. Uh, you've got the option here, you can just cancel it. So we could just go in and cancel it straight out um, if we wanted to, or reschedule it, or edit the form. So we're just going to cancel that. And bang, done. And also what will happen is as soon as that's cancelled, it will drop back out of the um, out of my diary automatically. So how is it actually organised? How, how, what happens in Acuity? Um, so the first things first, um, you can see here there's an option to sync with other calendars. So all I've done is I've just synced it up with, uh, when you come down to my account, obviously these are my team. When you come down here, um, we can sync it up with my Office 365 calendar, block off any time and acuity from calendar. So it's two-way syncing. So if I mark something out as busy in my phone, and my torch is on, I don't know why. If I mark something out as busy in my phone, uh, it automatically um, makes that appointment slot, un slot unavailable um, on, on Acuity so people can't actually book, which I think is pretty cool. The other thing is you can have a number of different appointment types. So what you've just seen there is the first part of my inquiry process. So it's a diagnostic call booking. Um, but also you see some other ones here which I've got set up. So podcast interviews, uh, we've got diagnostic follow-up, we've got a three core pillar offer call. So that's what John does with um, clients when they first join Fearless Business. Got a couple of other things here for other programs, which, um, you know, for one-to-one -one clients, uh, people who want to book a breakthrough session meeting, things like that. So you've got a number of different appointment types. And then in terms of setting availability, it's actually really, really simple. So um, I just go and select myself. Uh, here we go. And then we've got various different appointment types uh, in terms of groups. So I've got all of my initial inquiry ones all grouped together here. I've got some predefined times set in my um, uh, set available. So every week at the same times on Mondays and Wednesdays, I have these two call slots available. Uh, what I can also do in this calendar is I can go in and add in some extra ones if I want to. So you can see here on the 19th, for example, I've added in some extra sort of bonus slots that people can book. And what I tend to do is I'll I'll um, I'll edit this once a week um, for the next sort of week or you know week ten days ahead so that people can um, uh, to to open up some extra availability in my diary um, if needs be if I can see that slots are starting to kind of get filled up I can open up more more um, uh, uh, more opportunities so the other thing though is um, and I find this super super helpful so. Um, oh, in terms of the intake form, so I've got this application form here, so it's like a very simple WYSIWYG, like drag and drop type interface for creating forms. Um, you've also got email settings, so this is where um, it sends out the um, uh, reminders and things like that. So I've set one up for, here we go, for diagnostic calls. So you'll see that email which um, I showed you, which popped into my inbox. This is how we edit it um, with the confirmation um, stuff in there. Um, and then what you can also do is send out reminders. So at the moment, um, I've only got two. I've got one which is 48 hours in advance. And here it is. Uh, so again, this is just a reminder. Uh, oh, this is just um, letting people know that when they book the call, it's going to be through Zoom. So they need to make sure that they go and download the app on the phone or computer before, um, before we chat. Also a reminder to go and fill out the Fearless Business Quiz. Um, a, again, a reminder with the op opportunity to change or cancel or add it to their Outlook calendar. And then the same the same thing goes out again 24 hours before um, so that the client gets like a pretty consistent um, sort of onboarding sequence and we're giving them a bit of pre-education before I even speak to them. Um, it's super effective. It just means then that the client is um, sort of already pre-warmed to us before we even get onto the call and we've been able to kind of um, start to qualify them and things like that. But the key thing is though that the client is in control all the way through this. So they get to choose when they book. They get the opportunity to add it into their calendar. I get all of the reminders so I'm not going to drop the ball either. It goes into my calendar automatically. Um, and then also the client gets um, both email and SMS reminders um, in advance of um, their call. So there's, there's no excuses. There's no reasons why um, they wouldn't be able to um, to book. Now, I'll be honest, it is a little bit clunky in terms of, um, you know, setting this up initially. But once it is set up, actually, it works incredibly well. And you saw how easy it was for somebody to kind of um, go into my diary and, and book a call with me, obviously, provided they pass the application process. 
Um, so there's absolutely no excuses there, really. I think if people are still running manual diaries, you're absolutely daft. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple of other tips around how to, um, you know, the metrics you need to be working to in terms of your diaries and consultations and things like that um, a bit further down the line. Um, but I think if you um, get Acuity set up ASAP, as a, it should just be like every business should have automated diary booking. Every Sorry, every service client business should have um, automated diary booking in some way, shape or form. Um, and um, if you don't, if, you, if you're struggling on the tech side of things, go and find somebody to help you. This stuff isn't overly complicated. But if you get a little bit stuck or you need help embedding it on your website, for example, the other cool thing is you can just send people a link directly from Acuity. They don't, it doesn't necessarily need to be embedded on your website. So there is always a, a way around this to kind of um, sort of hack it or shortcut it to make sure that, um, you know, uh, it's as easy as possible for people to access um, your stuff. Anyway, um, so I, I thoroughly recommend go and set up Acuity, go and set up or schedule once or Calendly. They all work in a similar way. Make sure it's hooked up to your Google Calendar or Outlook. Um, and then, um, you know, set up the various different appointment types, set up the reminders, and that will definitely save you an awful lot of time. Uh, hopefully stop you from dropping the ball and who knows you may end up getting um, more clients as a result of just having this one simple piece of automation in place.